G'day viewers, how the devil are you? Today I'm going to take this iPhone, I'm going to put it in this furnace and I'm going to hit it with this 300 kilowatt oil burning flame throwing monster and really do an iPhone test. Let's see what happens. I happened to be browsing YouTube and I saw quite a few different iPhone destruction videos and frankly I thought they were all pretty lame. Somebody pours a little bit of petrol on one or puts a couple of drops of molten aluminium on it and you know that's it. That's for sissies. We've got oil burning power here so I'm going to hit one of these things with some real flame and fury and then see what happens. None of this pussy shit. Let's get Give it a real test. Rightio, first things first, let's get all the whinge and whining safety sissy drivel out of the way before you start. They're not happy unless you state the bleeding obvious, so don't try this at home. Of course, that would surmise that you actually have a furnace with a 300 kilowatt burner to start with that you actually could do this. Now I'll take a bit of a gamble here and assume that 99.9% .9 of the population don't have one of those or a burner and a furnace so that gets that part out. For the other 0.1% well let's face it if you do have one of those at home in your backyard you probably built it yourself because you can't buy the things and you'd know what the hell you're doing with it so the last thing in the world you need is some whining bitching safety sissy that's you know probably too scared to do anything lest they break a fingernail or mess up their hair telling you what the hell to do with the thing so having that covered it just leaves me with one more possibility and that's that dumb kids could see this and try it themselves where the frig do you think I got the idea from the dumb kids already bloody doing it the only thing is I reckon I can do it a lot better so now that we've got all that out of the way let's get on with it Okay, just while I'm uh, priming the burner there, and to acknowledge the uh, concerns of the whinging safety sissies and, uh, and assorted faggots, uh, I'm wearing uh, gloves, uh, eye protection, a face shield, a, uh, a fireproof suit, uh, a bombproof suit, and a wetsuit. I'm also five miles away in a fortified and secured underground bunker, so I am totally and utterly safe. Uh, just the same, I am also running a fan to blow any uh, fumes or vapours away, as I have read some things that suggest that they may be a bit toxic, but being five miles away, I'm totally and utterly safe anyway. So, just wanted to, uh, to clear that up, so we don't have anybody getting, you know, over concerned or their knickers in a twist. Rightio, that looks like that's primed up, so we'll get going. So, using the miracle of modern technology, I'll now um, operate the remote controlled robotic arm, get the burner lit, and we'll be on our way. I'm using my patent pended sparkler method of ignition. So here we go. Gee, these robotic arms are just great. preheat on the gas when the flame comes up then I'll substitute the gas injection for the regular oil supply and we'll be off and running Otherwise we won't be 
able to see the thing, but I'll let the burner warm up and then we'll go from there. Okay, I've got the burner closed down. I'm going to uh, throw the elbow on, give it a bit of air and see how we go. go folks you can see what's left of that and it certainly isn't much that's how you really demolish an iPhone well 
There you go, viewers. There's the end result. When you do this properly, there's very little left and certainly not much that's recognisable. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, click the like button, and most of all, share it round. If you like this video, you'll probably like some of the other wild and wacky things that I've got on my channel. So please have a look and keep watching for more of this sort of fun and frivolity. Thanks for watching.